How's it going everyone? Today is a good day because I have a new computer therefore I have new sound and a new screen. So yippee. Uh, hopefully the sound will be better. I just had an old laptop and I needed something new. So here you go. Thanks for everybody that's donated and helped out in the cause for a new computer. But anywho, uh, we got the dollar. And coming off the bottom here, we got a hammer. And again, came through the 8, closed below the 8. Came through the 8, came down into the 8. Now we have support. Best Buy right there. Uh, next day, came through. And then followed through to come down into support. And today, it's looking like it wants to keep going on up into previous lows, which is our resistance line into previous lows. Um, so there we have it. It's doing what it's usually doing. Back and forth across the uh, 8, 13, back in for support. And then a uh, flat top break coming in. S&P looks like it had a little crack today. Pretty nice. Looks like support. Um, came into support held support and then broke out previous highs pretty nice <clears throat> Dow Jones same thing and the Nasdaq made a new high as well now looking at something because I don't think this is going to last personally so let's look at the hourly chart. Hourly chart on the S&P, we have a falling star. And confirmed on the downside in the hours followed. Uh, that is a um, definitely a falling star. Long wicked. Closing where it opened, basically. Uh, so it is a doji uh, type of falling star falling star doji long wit <clears throat> dow jones um no reversal bar on the hourly but we have a, a two bar reversal on the hourly and let's look at the five minute see how that broke down we got a double top working came down bearish retraced hammer came into resistance and got rejected. So there we have it, closing on previous lows, below previous lows. And let's just follow this all on the way up. You can see the cross on the 15. Forty-five minutes. Sorry, my mouse is a little sensitive. Forty-five minutes has support. Thirty minutes is looking for support. Hourly, again, may come into support after that little run-up <clears throat> into previous highs. Hourly on the NASDAQ, we have a falling star here. Closing below the 8. Confirming that falling star. Again, um, made new highs today. But it looks bearish at the top. We got a triple top here. Rejected on the third time. Closing below the 13 on a 30 minute. So let's just keep going. Double top on there. Looking for support. Three hours. You got a double top here. And a four hour. Definitely a double top with a uh, falling star action. Not perfect, but um, see how this all pans out. Tomorrow is Friday. Tomorrow is the last day of the week. And so we'll have to do a weekly review to see how these things held up. Let's do this uh, crude. Looks like we broke down, came into resistance so far, got rejected on a daily. 
uh, for the week. Looks like just uh, coming into a previous or just a high level consolidation. Uh, we got a couple high peaks here with a lower high, but we also have higher lows. Uh, we got the 8 and the 13 coming on up through time if this doesn't uh, hold its own and get some momentum back, it will just fall through because that 8 is slicing through price as we speak. So we don't want to close uh, the below the 8 on a weekly. It's it's not um, always the worst thing, but it's just an indicator of momentum dying. So we want to make sure we keep momentum. And right now, on a weekly basis, we're closing below the 8 so far. See how it ends tomorrow. Coal. Uh, looks like the bearish retracement got rejected. So I'm looking for a s falling prices on this. As that is a bearish flag on a daily. Came into resistance. Got rejected so far three days in a row. Uh, look for prices to dump uh, with previous low breaks. And then also previous low breaks when we're working that double bottom now. We got a bottom here. And the bottom here, bearish um, flag into resistance and watch for prices to break this low and then dump into the next low. And then after that, it's pretty much watch out for below. Watch out below as we got support at previous highs all the way to previous lows, the next range of things. As it breaks down, it breaks into the previous highs. All the way down into the previous lows. So we've got lots of support and resistance in this area, this whole range. But that's the probability of it. It could go all the way down into previous. If it breaks into previous highs, it can go all the way down into previous highs and then all the way down into previous highs. Um, looks like 32 is a good uh, support line. Uh, but again, that has to be a bearish flag. That has to turn over. Uh, that is, to me, a bearish retracement consolidation. Um, let's see here. Ten-year note looks like it got uh, saved by the bell. It's on a tether. Breaking previous lows was on the target. And it looks like we now have a confirmed bottom. Breaking previous highs. And we have... Come on now. There it is. Sorry, I'm not used to my keypad yet. Oh my goodness. All right, we got a low here and we got a higher low now. Confirming the bottom as previous highs were broken, closing above previous highs, going into previous lows. We'll see how it comes into resistance. If it gets rejected here, maybe it needs an opposing point to try again to get to the other side. Um, but right now, I'm looking at a bearish retracement into resistance and see if it just flows over. Right now it's got a pretty good bounce, uh, but we got three lines of resistance on the way up. Um, we broke down, came into resistance, came into support, hit resistance, came into support again, and then broke all lines of support. We got one line of support left, and then it's watch out below. Nikai. Nikkei is coming into a little pinch where resistance, three lines of resistance and a thin line of support where price is going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, tighter and tighter and tighter and tighter as these averages are coming down into the uptrend line. So we got a little corkscrew running. Uh, I'm calling for a bearish retracement as it keeps getting rejected by all that resistance on the top. And we broke down below the 34. Definitely below the 8 for a while. And 13. So I'm looking for... <clears throat> um, 
Previous low breaks. That looks like a bearish retracement. Bearish to me. Anything could happen. So look for uh, confirming that bottom if it starts breaking through resistance lines. Shanghai Composite still working off that nice, nice Doji long wick hammer. Or I guess we could just call it the Doji. Uh, into resistance off that bottom, came down to an opposing point. Came across through the 34, came uh, into support across the 34. Bullish retracement right there. Had a little struggle. Um, little corkscrew uh, as uh, support came up and the trend line was going down and then it popped. Flat top break. Hasn't looked back yet. So there you go. Look for prices to continue. Mm -hmm. And now we're closing above the 13. And that, of course, the beautiful weekly hammer right off of the 34. Just a beautiful looking hammer right there. Confirmed, it's still going. Now it's breaking into previous highs. Let's see if we can make new highs. Coming into the close. Gold. Looks like we got a little push and a rejection. Looks like we got rejected at previous lows. And we might have a falling star back into support. Uh, we're still waiting for, on gold, we're still waiting for that 8 to come across too. So look for any kind of pullbacks as it's gone up for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 weeks out of 8. So we'll see. Maybe it was a push into resistance and um, a throwback. And now it's going to gather its legs as it did turn around and try again into previous lows i'd really really love to get over the 34 on a weekly basis that is the goal and you can see that double top into previous lows right there just like clockwork so by the dips Check your intraday charts to see where the uh, reversals are. That's a pretty rejected reversal bar right there. Ran across and closed all the way in. That's a reversal. And then it broke upside trend. And then it was just off to the races after that. So a bearish retracement into resistance. Uh, no reversal on the hourly yet. See if the markets will turn tonight. See if we can get a good close on Friday. I'm not sure though. Uh, today's candle close was... Uh, well, that's into support so far for the week, though. It looks like we got a um, a reversal bar. So let's knock that out. Let's make sure we close above that reversal bar, which is 1242 Just $20 away. Let's make sure we do that. Let's get above the 34 Uh might be up and down, up and down for a while, I think. Same thing on silver. Silver just had a push up. Let's see. Let's see how we do it on the daily. Silver's looking a lot better. It just came into support. Now it's bouncing. Uh, bam, bam. And, but on the uh, hourly, you can see the breakdown and the bearish retracement. Uh, look for previous lows as it might get rejected. So an hourly chart's one to watch tonight, it looks like. See if we can break out of this bottom. Uh, otherwise, uh, if it keeps getting rejected, we might see lower prices. And that would mean the weekly closing below the 8. That would be cool.
No, the weekly's way. Never mind. Scratch that. Thinking about a different time frame. Weekly, I'm always wanting to be above the eight. But same as gold, we need that eight to come across. Uh, we might need some uh, some kind of a consolidation. I'm hoping for a push across the 34. That is the goal. Uh, copper looks like a back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Break outside that uh, channel. So it's coming off the bottom here. Looks like it got rejected. Offer resistance. It's got to close better than that. Weekly's holding support. Daily's looking a little bearish for the hourly. Looks like we're into resistance as the cross down. See, see if this will make an opposing point or break previous lows. You never know what's going to happen there. GDX. Looks like the hourly chart's breaking down. Uh, let's look at the daily. The daily's holding support. Weekly. Looks like it got rejected. Oh, that was looking so good yesterday. Uh, there's another falling star. Uh, that might be just a throwback. But uh, we'll have to confirm it tomorrow. That's uh, too close to call. That is a nice reversal bar. Um, but I think it's just uh, gathering its legs as it broke into previous lows and got knocked back. So it's going to gather its legs to try again. So with that being said, let's look at the hourly. Yeah, it just needs a lot of work. Looks like the hourly is breaking down. So it looks like um, Friday might be uh, a recovery day from today's down action. Hmm. Just really hoping for a close above the 34. I hope we can close above the 34 on a weekly basis. Uh, again, we do have to get that 8 coming up. Price is far extended from the 8. way extended might see prices come back in you never never know again that might be a throwback uh, gathering its legs to try again or it could be a falling star if that closes and confirms on the week coming all the way back down into support and that's not unheard of not unheard of nugget Looks like Nugget, the uh, 8's crossing now. Let's see if it'll hold support on the uh, daily... Uh, we do have a three bar pattern here coming into support. Let's see if it'll hold. Ugh. Just hoping for a close above. This thing looked like it was going to make a run. So all we're looking at is a rejection into our previous lows. So to keep watching. Tomorrow's Friday. Tomorrow's a good, the important close. Then there's another falling star. So we'll see how tomorrow ends up. Uh, Bitcoin took off again and churned on a dime. So it looks like it's on its way back up. Nice bounce. I haven't been watching, so let's take a look. You can see the lower high. made a higher high and then came down 
closed all the way up, made a lower high. Then it broke, and then it was Saranara, came all the way down to 913, all the way in, got rejected, made an opposing point, broke previous highs, and here it comes. Right across the 8. The 1, 2, punch across the 8. Let's hit it. Let's hit that 13, come back into support, maybe break the 13, come back into support. This thing is a monster. Pretty nice mover, too. It's just so clean. The clean breaks. The clean bounces. Um... So far in a daily, it held to 13, came all the way back into the 34. Weekly. If it closes down in this area, we're working with a lower high on a daily. So, or uh, on a weekly, excuse me. So we'll just see how the week ends up. Uh, it's kind of redundant uh, day before the weekly close. Uh, CLF. Bam! This thing has not given up yet. Um, you can see the volume breakout, first of all. The pattern break, second of all. Um... Take it a longer term and see what just happened. All right, for the longer term, just like everything else, I'm waiting for that cross. Um, we've been watching this since I remember making the big call on this when it broke down here. And then came all the way back down into support, and I was pounding the table, and it hasn't turned back. Came all the way back down into support on this one, too. Consolidated for a couple months. Boom. Came across the 34. Inverted hammer right over the 34. Another inverted uh, hammer. Broke previous highs today at 10, and just took off. So now um, this thing uh, completed the bullish retracement and is continuing. Uh, I got previous lows here. I got previous lows right here. And so between 1350, um, it's at resistance right now because it's got a previous high to break through. 50, you got a 50% 50 rule at 1226, which is resistance on that long red candle. 1250. And then I got previous lows at 1350, all the way up to previous lows of 1550. So there you go. Pretty definitive break today. Huge amount of volume. And um, didn't look back. The end of the day closed kind of down. Uh, didn't close up here, I don't think. After hours, it came all the way back down. There's the five minute. There's your uh, reversal bar there. Broke into previous highs. And then that was a Q. And then it just kept going. Pretty good day for CLF. Hasn't disappointed yet. AG, we're still waiting for things to take over. But now we got a bearish retracement on the hourly. 
You can see the cross over the 34. Bearish retrace back into resistance. It got rejected, breaking previous lows. Watch for that. I have to pick this thing up on a low. We got next lows into previous highs. So down into the 10 area, it looks like, on the hourly chart. Huge three bar pattern or four bar pattern. Uh, it's coming back into support. So we'll see um, how we recover tomorrow. Maybe to do a double back. And then for the week, looks like we got rejected. Came into resistance pretty hard and came all the way back in. So it looks like a throwback, but it could be a reversal. You never, never, never know. Feels like a throwback to me. We'll see. USLV had a little throwback today as well. URRE, nice. Came all the way into support. Now you see the two bar pattern here. Look for previous high breaks in and around 220. Could get another bull run out of this. Pretty nice. Um, I bought into U, uh, UEC today. I'm looking for a flat top break. And pretty much looks like NAK is above three again. This might have to do a high level consolidation to gather its legs or come down and support it. One of the two looks like lower highs are coming in. BTG, blah, 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 blah. Pretty much all the same. I'm running late, so I'm going to keep it short. Looks like V. Uh, GZ came through. Uh, bah, 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 bah. I'm really keeping an eye on these silver ones. Any M, same, same, same all across the board. So keep your heads on straight. Hopefully you'll enjoy this video a little bit better uh, for the sound quality and the visual. Um, but let me know what's going on out there. Please donate if you can. Um, someone asked if I like ground coffee or whole bean. Well, I'll take grounded espresso beans. And um, <laughs> if you really want my address to send me coffee beans, um, that'd be awesome. But you can donate uh, $3 at my uh, channel uh, top of the channel the little PayPal button. So there you go on that. Thanks for everybody for donating and help me buy a computer, which is going to help me out a lot uh, with my other businesses and um, these videos. So I'll see you. Uh, let me know what's going on out there. Please share, like, and comment.